and welcome back to another session of microorganisms friend and a four yes guys we have already completed the food preservation the perishable food and the non perishable food and we have studied the different varieties of microorganisms and the various diseases it causes in human beings as well as in plants and today we are going to discuss the last topic of microorganisms of friend and a four that is nitrogen cycle or nitrogen fixation yes guys you have to listen it very carefully because it's a very important topic we are going to cover in this video that is nitrogen cycle and nitrogen fixation before starting anything i would like to ask one question from you can you tell me how much percentage of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere yes guys please 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 reply me yes what is the percentage of nitrogen present in the atmosphere exactly correct it's 78% of nitrogen is present in our surrounding air or surrounding atmosphere Yes guys 78% please do remember and what is nitrogen stands for n2 yes nitrogen is n2 and we all know that how important is nitrogen for the plants for the growth of the crops or fruits or vegetables whatever it may be yes guys so nitrogen plays a very important role and very very necessary for the plants yes without which the plants cannot develop properly so nitrogen is very very important for the plants what in case think what in case nitrogen is not available for plants that what we are going to do yes we have studied that we use the nitrogen fertilizers npk which is rich in nitrogen and that fertilizer can be used for the well growth of the plants but but instead of going that chemical fertilizers it should be fixed naturally yes how we can make the plants available nitrogen naturally yes and that is called as your nitrogen fixation means fixing that atmospheric nitrogen into the soil and making it available for the plants it's natural completely natural no chemical at all so we have to go for natural means of uh, available uh, available of nitrogen for the plants that is nothing but your nitrogen fixation so what is nitrogen fixation means to fix yes guys listen to me carefully to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere into the soil and make it available for the well growth of the plant is called at is called your nitrogen fixation so what is nitrogen fixation means the trapping of nitrogen simply you can call the trapping of nitrogen from the atmosphere and making it available for the plants is called nitrogen fixation yes guys hope you understood what is nitrogen fixation first thing first thing you have to remember is nitrogen is present in atmosphere done what is the formula for nitrogen n2 yes here i have written it n2 yes n2 and it's available in the atmosphere and what exactly the percentage of nitrogen present in the atmosphere is 78% yes guys 78% of nitrogen is available in atmosphere yes and our job is to provide nitrogen to the plants naturally without using the fertilizers and that process is called as your nitrogen fixation yes means fixing of fixing of or capturing of atmospheric nitrogen or trapping of the nitrogen from the atmosphere and make it available for the plants is called nitrogen fixation yes once again i am going to repeat the trapping listen to me carefully the trapping of nitrogen from the atmosphere and making it available for the plants is called nitrogen fixation but who will who will do this who will take the responsibility of nitrogen fixation of course bacteria a bacteria called rhizobium bacteria and 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 blue green 
algae plays a vital role in nitrogen fixation. Yes, guys, you heard me right. Rhizobium bacteria and blue-green algae helps in nitrogen fixation or, or, or trapping the atmospheric nitrogen. Yes, generally there are two methods. Generally there are two methods of fixing the atmospheric nitrogen. The first one, nitrogen fixation and as I told you two methods are there for nitrogen fixation first is done by a bacteria that is called as your rhizobium bacteria yes which bacteria guys rhizobium bacteria by rhizobium bacteria and blue green algae these two are responsible for trapping the atmospheric nitrogen it's the first method of nitrogen fixation yes so first of all the nitrogen fixation is carried by your rhizobium bacteria and blue green algae yes guys and the second method of nitrogen fixation is generally by lightning and thundering and rains yes it it also helps a lot it also helps a lot in trapping the atmospheric nitrogen and make it available to the soil and from soil, the plants can utilize the nitrogen. Yes, guys. So, these are the two methods which helps in trapping the nitrogen. So, what are the two methods and who is first of all responsible for nitrogen fixation? Of course, none other than rhizobium bacteria. Once again, rhizobium bacteria and blue-green algae. Yes, guys. Rhizobium, R-H-I. Z-O-B-I-U-M Rhizobium bacteria and and, and blue-green algae are responsible for nitrogen fixation. This is the first way. Second way, by lightning, by thundering. Yes, how? I will tell you. So, first of all, let's see uh, about the nitrogen fixation by rhizobium bacteria. Actually, rhizobium bacteria plays a heroic role here in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen. But where we can find this rhizobium bacteria? Can anyone please do reply me in the comment section? Where can we find this rhizobium bacteria? Yes, 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 of course. Rhizobium bacteria are present in the root nodules of leguminous plants. What do you mean by leguminous plants? Of course, your pulses, your dal variety, your pulses, grams are all leguminous plants and in their roots. Yes, in their roots, root nodules are present and in that root nodules, you can find this rhizobium bacteria. Understood guys? So, the first thing we are discussing here is by nitrogen fixation by rhizobium bacteria. Yes, and where can we find this rhizobium bacteria? This rhizobium bacteria exists in the root nodules of leg leguminous plants. Where does it exist? It, it, it exists in the root nodules. Listen to me carefully. Root nodules of leguminous plant. And what are leguminous plants? Your peas, your pulses, all are leguminous plants. Yes, so the rhizobium bacteria is, uh, exists in your root nodules of, of, of leguminous plants. Yes, guys, so it's available in the leguminous plants. Now, so, it is present in the leguminous, so it helps in capturing that atmospheric nitrogen by decomposing the dead decaying material and makes the soil available nitrogen and that nitrogen is utilized, the, utilized by your plants. Yes, generally what do this nitrogenous bacteria do? This rhizobium bacteria do? This rhizobium bacteria, yes, this, this, this rhizobium bacteria acts open that excreta of animals. Yes, when the animals are going to eat the plants. Yes, when the animals are going to eat this leguminous plants and they will excrete ex and from that excreta, this rhizobium bacteria acts open that ex excreta and deposit and decompose it and make available nitrogen in the soil and indirectly the plants going to use this use useful nitrogen. Yes, so in this way, uh, this rhizobium 
bacteria helps in nitrogen fixation and secondly by lightening and thundering and we know that in atmosphere 78 percent of, of nitrogen is present yes or no so during this thundering what happened this nitrogen breaks into atoms and then yes this nitrogen breaks into atom n plus n and this n combines with oxygen to form 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 other compounds which are very useful for the plants and that useful compounds comes down to the soil by the means of the rain and finally we get the nitrogen yes or no so how it happens means in case during the thundering and lightning the atmospheric nitrogen breaks into 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 atoms n n and this n combines with your this n combines with your oxygen and form very very useful nitrogenous compounds what does it forms it forms your nitrogenous compounds and this useful nitrogenous compounds comes down to the soil by the means of rain and finally soil is rich in nitrogen. So these are the two methods by which helps in nitrogen fixation. I hope you understood what nitrogen fixation exactly means now. Trapping of nitrogen. One is your rhizobium bacteria and blue green algae method and, and the second one is your by lightning and thundering. Done. So rhizobium bacteria kaha present hota hai? Where does it exist? Root nodules of leguminous plants. Yes. And by lightning, what happens? Nitrogen breaks N and N. This N combines with oxygen and form nitrogenous compounds. And this nitrogenous useful compounds comes down to the earth by the means of your rain. Yes, now I'm going to explain it in the form of diagram. Let's see how now let's see the same thing in a diagrammatic manner and it will be very easy for you to understand in this diagram. The same thing we are discussing that is nitrogen cycle. Yes, nitrogen fixation and we have already studied that the nitrogen fixation is done by two methods. By rhizobium bacteria and another by lightning. So let's see how it takes place. So first of all we know in atmosphere nitrogen is there and that too 78% of nitrogen is available in atmosphere. The first thing is your rhizobium bacteria, nitrogen fixing by bacteria. Yes, we have discussed that this rhizobium bacteria traps the atmospheric, atmospheric nitrogen and secondly by lightning. Yes, and what do these bacteria do? This bacteria will convert that nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds. Yes, bacteria will trap the nitrogen change it into nitrogenous compounds and add it to the soil and the compounds of the nitrogen are added to the soil same way first first step is the rhizobium bacteria traps the nitrogen yes fixes the nitrogen and that bacteria converts that nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds second step and the third one is that that compounds of nitrogen are added to the soil Three steps guys you have to remember first of all. Okay in a cycle the first three step is. First of all atmospheric nitrogen is present. Rhizobium bacteria traps this nitrogen or fixes this nitrogen. Then third step this bacteria changes that nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds. And that nitrogenous compounds are finally added to the soil. And the same way lightening also. Lightening converts the nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds and that nitrogenous compounds are added to the soil. When the nitrogenous compounds are added to the soil, who will take it? Plants, of course. The plants, it's uptake by plants. The nitrogenous compounds are taken by the plants. And when these plants are eaten by the animals, when these plants are taken or when we are going to eat these plants or when the animals are going to eat these plants, after eating the undigested food material will be removed and that is called excreta. So the nitrogenous waste from excretion will become, will come out. Yes or no? And that nitrogenous waste, yes, and that nitrogenous waste which has nitrogen, some bacteria, what they do, it again converts into gaseous form. 
Yes, it again converts into gaseous form. Some bacteria turn these compounds into gaseous nitrogen. And that nitrogen gas again return back to the atmosphere. So, it's a cyclic process just as your water cycle. Yes, we all have read water cycle. How the percentage of water is almost same every time. The same way the nitrogen also. So, it can be easily described in this nitrogen cycle. Generally what happens, that's why we are advised to eat loads of uh, uh, legumes. Yes, loads of pulses. Why? Because it is rich in protein. Why? Because it is rich in proteins. Yes, it is rich in proteins and this nitrogen helps in making proteins. Yes, so and that is mainly done by the rhizobium bacteria. Understood guys? First of all, rhizobium bacteria traps the or fixes the atmospheric nitrogen, converts into nitrogenous compounds and then add it to the soil. From the soil, plants will take, plants are eaten by the animals, and uh, animals will excrete and that excreta is again converted into your gaseous form by, by your bacteria and it's make available to the atmosphere. This is what's simple. It's very simple to understand the nitrogen cycle. But... But before ending this chapter, I have an interesting question for you. Please do reply me the answer for that question. The question for you is that why, 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 why bacteria exist only in the root nodules of leguminous plants? Please do reply me in the comment section that why this rhizobium bacteria exist in the root nodules of leguminous plants. What is the relationship between them? Let me so, let me know very soon in the comment section. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe at home. Bye.